All right, this is a pretty weird test. Um, I took the 250 sequencer CV, split it, five note sequence, into the 261. I also split it into a, a format jumbler, then into the 210 at unity gain. I used this as a buffer, which helped stabilize the CV. The output into the all input of the 291 and the all output of the 291 into the FM input of the same 261 oscillator. What I'm trying to do is experiment and make um, use the 291E as a glide processor. It kind of works, actually. Now you can raise the gain, letting the CV that we've molted and changed into um, audio to control the FM input of the 261 oscillator. I hope that makes sense. Now if I turn up the amplitude to let it through, it definitely gets some glide, but remember you have to add it to the CV that goes into the main input. Very strange. Now this is kind of cool actually. I can turn it down here and the clock out of the 250 which is driving an envelope which I could patch I guess to hit the 292 then I took um, the pulse out of that same channel into a second 281 with a slow attack creating a pulse in sync and I took that out and triggered another envelope now we can take this CB here that you see approaching coming out of that channel and I can add it or excuse me I can take it and control the 291E sounds like this. Speed it up. There we go. So there you go, kind of a weird exploration of using the 291E as a glide processor. If I take it out of the loop, it sounds like this. No glide. Program glide.